Well, that'd be great, thank you. Uh, I'm Julie Thomas, I'm the officer in charge of Northern Dist District. At about 2.20 this morning, police were alerted by the victim of a robbery in Parapil Gardens. Uh, it is alleged that the victim was robbed of his vehicle and some other property by two offenders. Um, following that, the police was located, the vehicle was located by police and tracked using a police helicopter through the northern suburbs about three o'clock. By about four o'clock this morning, um, a suspect was located here in uh, Paralawi on the roof of a domestic premises and for the last few hours police have been negotiating with that individual to get him down from the roof to arrest him safely for the offences. A 22 year old man from Hectorville has been arrested for ag robbery and other offences and a second uh, potential suspect is not known to police at this stage but is subject to the investigation and police are currently looking for him. It was a tense standoff as you said for several hours police surrounded him, we've got great pictures of police mm -hmm. surrounding him, he's on top of it, looks like a greenhouse. Why couldn't they just go and grab him and, you know, okay. and take him into custody? Uh, I wouldn't describe the standoff as tense. Um, the uh, suspect in question was reasonably calm, he just did not want to be arrested. Uh, and so negotiations have occurred for quite some time because we didn't want um, the person in question harmed uh, to fall and we certainly didn't want any of our police officers um, hurt in any uh, arrest situation. So that is the reason why we didn't have uh, police uh, tackle him or try and arrest him on a rooftop. We did have police on the roof for some hours, but that was to contain uh, the suspect to the one location so that uh, he didn't fall or hurt himself or continue to um, run away from police and have to be chased. So yeah. the, the presence on the roof was to contain him and ensure safety of everyone. Do you have any more details on the on the, um, the carjacking? Uh, like, did he order the... The, the allegation the is that um, two people ordered a ride share and uh, robbed the driver of that ride share car um, of his vehicle and personal property. Do you know so if there were any... Was the weapon involved? Uh, subject to investigation at the moment. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe this sort of behaviour? You know, chasing a guy has been almost eight hours. He's, you know, disrupted all the suburbs and, you know, stolen a, allegedly stolen a car. How, how would you describe this? Uh, it's obviously not socially responsible. Um, it is concerning that this sort of offending has um, occurred. Uh, it's particularly stressful for the victim, uh, who is unharmed, I should say. Uh, it has obviously um, been uh, a lot of resources used in this. But as I said, um, we needed to bring it to a safe conclusion. So that is the reason why it's taken several hours and, and lots of resources. But we believe this is the best way that this matter could have been resolved, given the precarious nature of where he was uh, on top of that roof. Do you have any more information on the second suspect? Uh, not at this stage, no. Police are currently looking for him. So they're still outstanding? He's still outstanding. And this guy's what, now going to be interviewed and probably facing multiple charges? Uh, he'll be interviewed by criminal investigators and he will face some charges, yes.